For over 50 years I've been working in the science of crop production and my passion has always been about increasing wildlife alongside profitable agriculture. In this series I'll be exploring practical ways that farmers can reduce their carbon footprint, make best use of pesticides and help bring wildlife back to their farms. I'm here today to meet one of the farmers UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology have been working with. Julian works on a beautiful estate on the Oxfordshire Downs. What we're going to look at today is some novel, innovative ways of bringing wildlife into the middle of fields and helping control some of his crop pests. Hi, Marit. Hi, Julian. How are you yeah. doing? I see you come on the bike then. Yeah, I've got to try and keep my carbon footprint down. <laughs> so tell me a bit about the farm. About 750 hectares here, mainly um, combinable crops and wheat and barley and oilseed rape and beans, all the usual things. So you've got a surprise over there. What are you going to show me? Let me explain. Around the farm, we've got lots of infield flower strips, and these are like six metre wide strips that break up my cropping fields, providing pollen and nectar and habitats for beneficial insects and birds and things. But why in the middle of fields? Because if they're in the middle of the fields, Marek, it means potentially they can control the pests over the whole field area rather than just around the edges. Yeah. So we maybe can reduce our insecticide use and things like the carabid beetles are living in the strips and they can go out and eat slugs so we don't need to use slug pellets. I've been thinking about agroforestry for quite a few years, which is the concept of planting trees within a cropping environment. Farmers are quite reluctant to do it, including my owners because they're frightened of having tree stumps in fields. And I thought that maybe we could do a halfway house, which would be more palatable to farmers. We've got about 100 metres of natural hedge plants in the middle. The birds can nest in them. It's just providing extra shelter in what would be a fairly featureless prairie of mm, crop. Yeah. Most farmers have got a hedge cutter, and instead of thinking, how do we manage trees, they're used to managing hedges. One of the great benefits is obviously within the hedges, they're, they're, they're capturing carbon and reducing greenhouse emissions. Yeah. The question I've got to ask you is, how the hell do you cope with all this? It's pretty straightforward, really. These strips uh, fit in with our control traffic lines, and so they're not in the way of our great big machines, and we stop them before we get to the end headlands. Right. So there's a gap at each end, so we can farm the field pretty well normally. It's not like we're bumping into strips and trees all the time. Are you getting any grants or any financial support? We get money from DEFRA for the infield strip. Julian, how would you encourage others to do the same? Easy, Marek. Look at it. There's lovely biodiversity here. There's insects, there's butterflies, there's bees. Um, compared to looking at like a, a great prairie of wheat, it's amazing. It gladdens the heart. 